Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x to the power 9 plus x to the power 7 plus x to the power 5 divided by x to the power 8 plus x to the power 7 plus x to the power 6 is equal to 21 over 7. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. This x to the power 9 can be written as a x to the power 5 times x to the power 4 plus this x to the power 7 can be written as a x to the power 5 times x squared plus this x to the power 5 can be written as a x to the power 5 times 1 divided by this x to the power 8 can be written as a x to the power 6 times x squared plus this x to the power 7 can be written as uh, x to the power 6 times x plus this x to the power 6 can be written as uh, x to the power 6 times 1 is equal to this 21 over 7 will become 3. Now from the numerator we can factor out x to the power 5 x to the power 5 as common factor and in bracket left uh, x to the power 4 plus x squared plus 1 divided by from the denominator we can factor out x to the power 6 x to the power 6 as common factor in bracket left is x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 3 Now this expression at the left hand side can be written as uh, x to the power 5 divided by this x to the power 6 is same as x to the power 5 times x times this x to the power 4 plus uh, x squared plus uh, 1 divided by x squared plus uh, x plus 1 is equal to 3. Now this x to the power 5 will be considered with this x to the power 5 and this will become 1 over x times this expression x to the power 4 plus x squared plus 1 divided by x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 3. Next 1 over x times this x to the power 4 can be written as x squared whole squared plus this x squared plus 1 and in the numerator we add and subtract x squared divided by x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 3. Next 1 over x times x squared whole squared this x squared plus x squared will become plus 2 times x squared plus 1 minus this x squared divided by x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 3. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. This x squared whole squared plus 2x squared plus 1 will become x squared plus 1 whole squared minus this x squared divided by x 
squared plus x plus 1 times 1 over x is equal to 3. Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This uh, x squared plus 1 whole squared minus x squared will become x squared plus 1 plus x times x squared plus 1 minus x divided by x squared plus uh, x plus 1 times 1 over x is equal to 3. Now, this x squared plus x plus 1 will be cancelled out with this uh, x squared plus 1 plus x we are left with 1 over x times x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 3 and from here we multiply both sides by x so this x will be cancelled out with this x and we are left with x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 3 times x. Move this 3x to the left hand side, this will become x squared minus x minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. Next, x squared. Negative x minus 3x will become negative 4 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. x x squared. This negative 4 times x can be written as a negative 2 times x times 2. To complete the square, we add and subtract 4 in this expression. Plus uh, this one will remain same is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared minus 2ab plus uh, b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared. This x squared minus 2 times x times 2 plus 4 will become x minus 2 whole squared. This negative 4 plus 1 will become negative 3 is equal to 0. Move this negative 3 to the right hand side this will become x minus 2 whole squared is equal to 3 and we take a square root of both sides so this square will be considered with this square root Here we are left with x minus 2 is equal to plus minus root 3 Move this negative 2 to the right hand side, then this will become x is equal to 2 plus minus root 3. It means that we get a two values of x. 1 is equal to 2 plus root 3 and x2 is equal to 2 minus root 3. These are the two solutions of this equation.